And here we are, we're at the home screen for our Roku TV. The only thing remaining to do is to start streaming and enjoying our content. Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up your Roku Express. If you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Now let's go ahead, let's jump right in and get this set up. All right, it's time for a quick viewer intervention. Yes, I'm talking to you. No, don't look away, I'm talking to you right now. In the last 28 days, almost 40,000 of you have viewed the TV Chef channel, but only 98 of you have become a subscriber. So would you please consider clicking that subscribe button? Bonus points if you like, comment, and share our videos as well. If you don't like our videos, please give it a thumbs down. Click that dislike button and tell us why in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you either way. Also, bonus points for you if you want to share it with an ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, a strange sibling, spouse, you get the idea. We'd be grateful for that as well. The first thing we need to do is connect all of our cables. So we're going to take one end of the included HDMI cable, doesn't matter which end, and plug it into our Roku device, just like so. And then we're also gonna take our micro USB end and plug that into our USB port on the back of our Roku device, just like that. Now we're ready to go to our TV, plug in the other end of the HDMI cable, and if your TV has a USB port, go ahead, plug this end into the USB port on your TV. If you do not have a USB port on your TV, you will need to provide your own wall adapter and plug to plug this USB type A and into a power source like an outlet. So go ahead, find that power source. Now let's get our TV and finish set up. On the back of our TV, this is how everything looks. So we have our HDMI cable plugged into HDMI one, and we have our USB cable plugged into our USB port. And then we're positioning our Roku device just right down here on our tabletop surface. But if you wanted to, you could stick it to the underside of the TV, maybe up at the top of the TV. It really just depends on your situation, but this is how everything should be connected. Just take note of which HDMI source you're in. Next, you're gonna to wanna to power on your TV and navigate over to the correct HDMI input, and this is what you should see on your screen. Now, let's go ahead and complete our setup. First thing to get started is to choose your language. We have a lot of different language choices here. We're gonna select English, now it's gonna scan for our wireless network. So go ahead, choose your wireless network, enter your password, and proceed to the next step. Now we're signing in to our wireless network. We have an update available, so let's go ahead and update. Our TV restarted after the update. This is the screen that we're on where we can select continue. And now it's time to enter our email address to get an activation link to get everything set up. Keep in mind, Roku never charges for activation support. Do not fall for any scams. You do not have to pay anything to set up or activate your Roku device. So please, I repeat, don't fall for any of that stuff. So go ahead, enter your email address here and continue. Now you'll see an activation link has been sent to our email address. We need to check our inbox. So in our inbox, we have our email right here where we're gonna select activate your Roku. We can activate the device. We're gonna open it with Chrome. And now we have some prompts where we can name our device, choose which location it's in, agree to the rules here, select continue. Gotta pick the location. I thought it was picked already. We'll just say living room, continue. Now at this step, you can add a payment method. You do not need to add one here. This is not a scam. This is just so you can set up streaming services, subscriptions, if you wanna buy or rent movies, but you do not have to have a credit card, PayPal or Apple Pay to do anything here. Look right here, skip this step right there at the bottom. So enter your stuff if you want, if you anticipate signing up for streaming services or you want to buy and rent movies, it's super convenient to do through your TV, but you do not have to do that. So we're gonna skip this step. And now we have, for us, since we're already a Roku, customer with other devices, we can just install our previous channels from other devices, or we can skip and pick and browse. So this will take as long or short as you want. So in our case, we're going to select OK. And then we're going to answer the survey. Do you currently subscribe to any of these services? 
So we can choose a couple of these that we want to install on our TV, continue, and then we have additional interests we can select if we want. We're just gonna hit continue. And then we have a lot of additional channels if we want to add, and there's way more you can do all of this and browse and find these again on your actual TV. So we're gonna skip those for now. And now you may notice it's working on updating the channels for us right here. And they have a lot of fun with their little titles, you know, maximizing the fun factor, aligning solar panels. So pretty clever stuff. So updating 49 channels for us. And back on the app, we have some additional trial offers if you want to take advantage of those. We're just gonna keep scrolling down. We don't want to sign up or take advantage of any of those. And at the very bottom, boom, hit continue. And there we go. We're now prompted if we want to install the Roku mobile app, we can use our mobile device to control our TV. So in this case, we are going to pass on all of that and our setup is finished. Now let's go back to the TV where on the screen it says all done and we have the prompt again for the Roku mobile app that you can download if you want, but we're gonna hit okay. And now we're taken to a getting started video. And here we are, we're at the home screen for our Roku TV. Check this out, everything has successfully been set up. The only thing remaining to do is to start streaming and enjoying our content. Maybe you wanna rearrange the tiles, remove or install some additional channels, adjust your input, things like that. You can do all of that right here. We got our menu with all of our settings, features, all of our content, and then we have our tiles where we can browse all of our downloaded apps to start streaming.